what's going on Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, and virtual DJ sound switch users. So I decided to make this video. We had a couple comments on Facebook. I made a video a few months ago and I don't believe I ever uploaded it. So I thought I would make a new one here. So essentially, um, just want to show the quick workflow for how I uh, ID my tracks that I have scripted in SoundSwitch. So you'll notice in Virtual DJ, I'm using a, a, a I believe it's the a GTS skin. But you see that I have tracks that are colored in blue or, or purple. It may appear pink, um, but I have a lot of, a lot of tracks that are um, identified in by different colors. Um, one other thing I do um, is I use the user one and user two fields to add a SS or a, a capital SS means that I have edited the script. A lowercase SS indicates that it was just a straight auto script from SoundSwitch. I also use the um, new feature in Virtual DJ um, where you can run these quick filters. So I'm, I'm basically on the on the top of my hard drive here on this music, um, and if I just click that sound switch, um, it would filter that. So if I come down to say uh, this folder and this folder is only going to show me these ones that are that are colored pink or blue. I take this off, you'll see that there's songs that I have not ran through sound switch. So this is just a quick filter. If you're not using these, this is a plus three, so I can add that. And there's there's some uh, plus threes uh, that we've played. So uh, just a quick uh, little tip there. Okay, so how do we do this? So uh, most of this is going to need you to um, create virtual folders. So if you don't know about virtual folders, go and learn about that because they are amazing. It's essentially the crate of virtual DJ. So I've created a virtual folder called SoundSwitch, uh, and I really just use this for moving tracks and identifying them around. I have a, one here that I created. You create them by clicking that button and then typing it in. Um, I already have one here. It's called the new SoundSwitch scans, no color. So I have this uh, track here. So basically what I want to do is maybe add um, some songs into this. So I'm just going to go to my promo only folder. We'll pick a uh, release. You can see I've done some of these. We're just going to pick a few of these that I hadn't done. So we'll just grab these three. And then I'm, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to take these and I'm going to drag them to my virtual folder. And now you'll see that those tracks are in here. Um, you should see here. Um, you can also see, for those of you who use Mixed In Key 10, I have ran these through, already ran these through Mixed In Key and got the uh, key of 12A. And you can see the discrepancy here in what Mixed In Key said these were. 12A energy level 6 and Virtual DJ saying it's an 11A. Uh, 1B, 12A. So you can see those are real close. Those are within one, which is good. But... Um, you can see we have a big discrepancy here. So anyway, that's what we did. Okay, so you have your songs in your virtual folder. You can do a bunch of them. I mean, I've done hundreds at a time. Uh, now, here's the key. So step one, you must close Virtual DJ. When you close Virtual DJ, it writes your database. It uh, creates the new database. Then you want to go and open Sound Switch. Uh, give it just a second to load the library. Uh, now, this video also assumes that you're pretty familiar with SoundSwitch. You have your files set up, you have your fixtures, um, you have the attributes set, you have all of that ready to get. Okay, so you go into edit. Um, doesn't really matter which uh, venue uh, you choose. I will choose my, my most popular one, which is uh, um, this one here um, has... Uh, well, let's choose the big one here. So this Mega 6 has um, it has quite a good bit of fixtures. So it's got 24 up lights. It's got a 4 bar, uh, a Chave 4 bar. It's got a 24 strip. It's got two Wash FX2s. It's got a Hurricane Hazer. 
it's got four moving heads in a, in a 90 watt and it's got 260 watts and then it's uh, got a good bit so we've got a good bit of stuff going on in there so I'm ready to script I come to my virtual DJ folders uh, which is where your virtual folders are going to show up you go to sound switch and you go to new sound switch scans no color and look at there there are my three songs uh, the file path everything for these so um, now I can take we'll just pick one um, and we'll do an auto script on it um, I have a few presets set that where I've tweaked them um, I encourage you to do that um, you will find out what works for you I like a certain look um, so this is let's see this is a all right so this is a close okay so I'm just gonna go with a, um, we'll go with a house and techno now what I did here is I took the the, the bass sound switch um, preset and I tweaked it and then resaved it with my initials behind it um, I want to apply it to all venues because I've no reason to do it just for one and I hit auto now obviously you can go in and you can do uh, you can you know set all your different positions and you can do whatever you want in the background uh, if you choose to um, so then I just take a look here um, I got a lot of I got a lot of movement going on which is fabulous what I want for a song like this I've got some pretty good intensity I, I'm just kind of just kind of scanning through to see what the auto script did um, and then we'll look here just look at how it's really working my up lights uh, it looks like it's running some uh, maybe some ch some slight chases possibly um, or just changing some good strobing and stuff on the on the movers which is cool okay so whatever I get those the way I want them. Um, I may even, you know, I'm probably going to do, I'm probably going to do all these, right? So if I just go ahead and choose these, I'll auto script these. We just, uh, we just do them on my dynamic preset. Maybe I'll go ahead and run the auto script on those songs. Um, I do what I need to do inside of sound switch. Now, once I'm finished, okay. I simply close sound switch. Yes, I want to save it. I open Virtual DJ back up. I don't know why that tip of the day still shows up. Sometimes I learn something though. And now I come back to my virtual folder. I grab my three songs. I right click, I tag edit, and then I change my color to whatever color you want. I'm going to put these on purple. Um, because purple means I have not edited it. Um, blue means I have really went through the script. Uh, I'm also going to come in here to the user one tab and add a SS for sound switch. Don't really use that a lot anymore, um, but it does help uh, from time to time. The key is to hit right tag, hit OK. And now we see that those songs are purple. The cool thing about this is I haven't actually ever played um, either either of these three songs. But if we come back and we maybe look through, um, let's just pull here uh, the top 40 combined list. And you see here, uh, Fifth Harmony, Worth It. Um, everywhere that this, that this track... This, this is a rhythm on the album Rhythm Radio, April 2015. The location is my D drive, which is an internal hard drive on my PC. Uh, music promo only 2015, March, April 2015. So everywhere that this file shows up in Virtual DJ, it's going to be pink. So for example, I can look here at last play was 11-13 of 2021. It was a good wedding. Um, and then I go, say, to my list and my advice. I go to my history. I come down to 2021. I go to 11. I go to... Uh, well, what was that? Day? Oh, you know, it might not have been... Still right here. It hasn't been moved. So we can come and look. And everywhere that that track... 
shows up, you will see uh, it's purple. So, um, and you will see the time you played it. So that's the great thing about using the virtual folders is that it, it links to the files. So um, I hope that helps. Um, I hope you will, um, that'll help you with your workflow and allow you to navigate um, virtual DJ much quicker. So where does that help me? Here's a quick closing. So let's just type in <laughs> Pitbull. <laughs> right, it's easy. Let's type in Pitbull, hit enter. I can quickly see right here in Pitbull the songs that I have ran through sound switch by the color. Blue tells me that I have edited it a lot. Pink tells me I have not edited it. Now, sometimes I have, but um, here's the cool thing. I've done my search. Now I can hit that, and it's showing me all the ones... It, by hitting the filter right there, it shows me everything I've done in sound switch. So super cool feature, um, virtual folders. If you're not using virtual folders in virtual DJ, you are missing out because it will change your life. I used to make playlists, which are M3U files. Um, and I used to do that a lot. And then I didn't really understand the flexibility behind them. Virtual D virtual folders. You can drag and drop. You can move them in and out. You can, Combine them. You can do all different sorts of things. I have tons of tons of virtual folders um, that I work off of. And the neat thing is, is I can have a song in ten different virtual folders, and I still have that one file sitting out on my hard drive. So it's uh, it's the easy way to have that file in multiple places, uh, similar to crates and other software. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope this uh, video was informative and it can help your workflow with SoundSwitch and Virtual DJ.